Hi folks, I hope you're doing okay. It's Monday, the 10th of January, uh, 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I've just got back from fetching Jack and, you know, made a cup of tea, got him a drink, got him a snack, got him to empty his lunchbox. Um, and I thought I'd pop on and say a quick hello. Um, we've got swimming tonight, so I've got to do tea as soon as I can when Paul gets home, so we've got time to eat and get out because uh, his lesson's at six o'clock, so should be fine. Um, so this is my progress. This is the frog's head, obviously not stuffed. And then this is the body. But my progress was um, hampered last night by computer problems. So let me tell you about this before I forget. This is the Frog Prince pattern by Sweet Oddity Arts. Art. It's a free pattern. I will link it below. I think I linked it on yesterday's video as well. Um, and this is for the unofficial frog along <laughs> with uh, Angela of Yarning Yarns. Um, so yes, and this is just a Derrimore's green, but I haven't been out to the shed to get the ball band to tell you what colour it actually is. Jack, watch what you're doing, please. Look how you're tipping your drink. You nearly spill it. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jack, please. Jack, what are you doing? Put the tablet down, you know. No one else's kids just have to walk around staring at the tablet, basically turning them into one-armed bandits. Don't want to walk around with his phone, like he has to watch YouTube. And it's like, he will struggle to do stuff rather than put his phone down and use, you know, both hands. So yes, just um, DK, I'm using a 2.75mm hook, my Clover Soft Touch. Um, yes, so I'm going to, when I film this, I'm going to sit and drink my tea and probably watch Tipping Point um, and just crochet for a little bit. I'll be crocheting at swimming, but because this pattern's on my laptop and not printed, I might take the Galaxy of Change blanket and do some work on that because I've got the pattern printed. Um, and I can just go, 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 go. Um, so yeah, we had computer problems last night. I loaded all the footage onto iMovie, it was fine. Set it to export and it kept crashing at the end. And we wondered if there was like a corrupt file or something and we tried doing it again, not having it. It turns out the hard drive was full or it was full when it was trying to export. Because apparently 4K raw footage is massive. I didn't quite know how massive, but massive. Um, so the the completed video was six and a bit gig. Um, but the what what was there to be compressed to six gig was obviously huge and was eating up all the space. So we've had to change it so my iMovie library comes off the external hard drive. Um, so for now, that's that's what I did last night to finally get the video to, to export and I got it uploaded overnight and processed and whatever. So my video went up this morning. I do apologize. Um, so I'll do the same today, put it onto the external hard drive, but I've actually ordered a solid state external hard drive. And it's, you know, it's like this big or something. And it's two terabyte, ridiculous. Um, so, with it being a solid state that should transfer a lot faster so it will make that portion of editing videos quicker and you know we we'll always need more storage because obviously videos music you know, stuff for the kids they've each got an account on the mac as well so at some point they'll want to be saving stuff as you know i mean tom has got his own laptop but that's you know schoolwork and stuff he still does some down here because i have to keep an eye on it and make sure he actually does it um, but yeah, so I've got a new hard drive on the way. So here's me saying, oh, I don't want to, you know, like, you know, 300 and something pounds okay for a camera. I don't want to spend much more. I had to buy a hard drive. Um, but it will be good. It's it's something that, you know, it's we're future proofing, sort of. <laughs> but that's my, and I'll have a backup of a backup of a backup of my crochet pans now. Because if I lose them, I'll be very sad. So, yeah, that's that's all I've got to report really. A quick one today, so it might upload. 
The upload's not so bad to, uh, time-wise, to be honest, thanks to the new shiny internet, yay. Um, it's the processing time um, for the HD and the 4K um, version, so. So if you can watch it 4K, do so. <laughs> You'll see every pore and, you know, <laughs> all the detail you don't actually need to see. But yeah, it's good. It's, uh, I quite like the camera. I'm getting used to it a bit more. I haven't figured out if I, how to get to watch my playback and Paul just rolls his eyes at me. I'm like, look, I'm busy. I forget. Work was really busy today. Um, I don't know why I was so busy. I'm not even doing what I used to do, you know, and, and dipping into everyone's work boards. But mine and another woman who was off, I had to look after her, one of her customers. And that caused a load of faff because the delivery was going to be too late. So that had to be moved. And then tomorrow's... Today's is going in tomorrow's slot, so tomorrow's had to be moved. So I moved that to a different date, and then one that was being delivered on Wednesday is not actually coming in, so it's not coming until the 22nd. So I have to move that one to the 26th, and then the one that had been moved from tomorrow, I can put in Wednesday's slot. Honestly, to do transport, I swear you need like, two three four brains and you know it's, it's definitely the having all those balls in the air trying to you know can i put this into this and can i put the you know can i switch this around i don't like that part of it my sister-in-law um she used to work like transport operations and i was like i would not do that job for any money because it's just awful there's you know so many i've got hair in my mouth Sorry about that. So many moving parts and oh, nightmare, nightmare. But our Hawley is a very good. Um, and if I miss something, they'll say, well, you know, you could do this. They're quite good at picking up, you know, oh, you could put this in this space. I'm like, oh, thank you. So then I had to talk to the customer because I'd sent an email saying, no, I've got to move this. And then it was like, I've got to move this. And then I had to write an email to the lady whose work I'm covering to say, look, this is what I've done. This is how it ended. Don't read the 20 emails back and forth this is how it's finished <laughs> and I've spoken actually spoken to the customer on the phone so he knows what's happening and then one of my customers can we have this delivered this week I'm like <laughs> no no delivery you know I think we're what it's the 10th and the earliest we can book something in is the 20th and that's quite good going for how it's been recently so it's it's yeah yeah, can we have a delivery tomorrow? Uh, no. <laughs> That's the quick answer. N no, just no. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going. I said I was going and then I moaned for three minutes. So, so I'm going to love you and leave you. I will catch up with you all again tomorrow. See how my day's gone. <laughs> um, I have got a spin book for tomorrow night, so that should be good. I have to get the video processing before I go. Or it'll be another late one. This is a short one. I don't know. Anyway, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So take care. Um, do some fun crochet, knitting, something. Make sure you make some time for yourself. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.